hello guys so welcome back to my channel hope you all have a subscribe my channel if not then do so to never miss my awesome creations so now let's go we will study today an amazing topic that uh, how a new product is developed from uh, our dna technology so <clears throat> our dna technology is the gene manipulation techniques by which we can form our desired product and its production is simultaneously increased by some many steps which we'll see later in this video so stay till the end let's go so we will see this in the various steps in each step there are the many processes many procedures which will take place so we will see every these procedures in deep let's go stay tuned till the end so in our very first step we take the two materials the biochemical and the animal tissue on which we have from which we have to extract our uh, dna the recombinant dna so this is cultured and then from this the gene is extracted from the tissue there is a cell in which in cell we have the dna in, inside our dna we have our desired gene which is to be used so that gene is uh, isolated then gene cuts uh, so in from chromosome we cut this gene then we take a microbial culture mainly the e coli e coli is mostly used in this microbial cultures commercially so from this e coli we extract the plasmid we cut the plasmid at the some ends which we call restriction ends restriction sites and we make we make cut here and uh, by restriction enzymes and then we make a recombinant plasmid our desired gene we incorporate here in this side and this is called the recombinant plasmid now this recombinant plasmid we insert this in the microbe in the microbial culture we insert this uh, recombinant plasmid so these characters are inherited in this microbe and microbial culture and it is manipulate it is multiplicated and uh, later the gene expression genes are expressed for better gene expression we need the multiplication many many microbes we need in the large quantity so plasmid multiplication and gene expression take place this step is the main process the plasmid plasmid is the extra uh, extra cellular dna which uh, we used in this recombinant process then the main process cell division cell division occurs due to the cell division our plasmid uh, increase the population of the plasmid by which we can uh, differentiate our uh, recombinant plasmid and normal plasmid so this cell division occurs which is the main uh, important step now if we see the past century the past history of the rdna technology so the rdna technology was just an imagination that uh, desirable characters can be improved in the living bodies by controlling the expressions of target genes however in recent eras this uh, field has demonstrated a unique impacts in uh, bringing advancements in human life by virtue of this technology crucial proteins required for the health problems and uh, dietary purposes can be produced safely this technology has uh, multidisciplinary applications and uh, potential to deal with the important aspects of life for instance and uh, improving health enhancing food resources and uh, resistant to divergent adverse environmental effects particularly in the agriculture we see the genetically modified plants have evolved and augmented and resistance to harmful agents enhanced the product yield and has showed increased adaptability for better survival so this is the importance of a recombinant process in this era of human evolution so after this cell division we get the small uh, culture so we make the small scale culture in the conical flask which you can see here it is aseptically done so no other microbes can enter in this culture and it is uh, safely aseptated processes are done to this and then we it this is a uh, introduced in the bioreactors bioreactors are the large vessels which are used to increase the production of our this and to maintain its uh, uh, maintain its uh, processivity so bench top bioreactor is used in this process 
After that, it is uh, also introduced into the pilot scale bioreactors. It, these are the large scale bioreactors in which the productivity increases gradually. And at the after in the next step, it is again going to the industrial scale operations. Uh, bigger than this productivity, then product recovery occurs in the uh, second last step. And at the last step, we have the packaging and the marketing of the product which we have uh, produced from the recombinant processes. So if we see about all these processes which we understood, so in uh, for doing all these processes, we need the enzymes. So enzymes which are involved in this uh, are DNA technology are basically that there are the three enzymes that are restriction endonucleases it can be exonucleases also and uh, then it is a dna ligase and uh, at the last we have the dna polymerase other also is used uh, it is called the cloning vector cloning vector it refers to the vector in which the desired genes has been inserted to form the rdna here we use the plasmid so plasmid is the cloning vector as these vectors divide or multiply a uh, number of copies or DNA are produced. So different type of cloning vectors are also used in the genetic engineering experiments. So basically the five cloning vectors which are used in the experiments with E. coli are uh, plasmid in bacteria, TI plasmid, agrobacterium mediated. Then we have bacteriophage, then we have plant and animal viruses, then we have transposons and at the last we have the back bacterial artificial chromosome and also the yak art yeast artificial chromosome so congratulations to listen me till the end so please like my video and uh, also considering subscribe my channel so thank you guys